Well, would you imagine that I post content of some sort multiple days in a row? Completely unheard of from me. Uh, <laughs> but how's it going, guys? Um, welcome to another physical media update video. Um, there is a uh, lighting system today, so that's that's cool. Yeah, so... Um, recently, I just picked up a ton of stuff because... You know, I mean, it's been a little while since I've done a physical media update, and, um, because your boy's recently had his, his birthday, so, yeah, got a lot of, got a lot of stuff to show you guys, but without further ado, let's get into the haul. So, first up, we have all of my music-related stuff, um, CDs and a vinyl, so let's get into this. First up for the CDs, we have Led Zeppelin's Mothership. This is kind of just like their, their greatest hits or whatever. Um, the first disc is like their first four albums, I believe. So it's Led Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin the second, Led Zeppelin the third, Led Zeppelin the fourth. Um, so yeah, good good first disc. The second disc is kind of their uh, one-off CDs. They're not they're like in like a specific order, like one, two, three, four, whatever. But it's still good. So yeah, I really like this this uh, CD. I think that one was like twelve bucks on Amazon or something like that. So pretty good. Um, this one, Snow Patrol's Greatest Hits. You probably don't know who Snow Patrol is. Very underrated band. Check them out, please, because they are um, very very good in my opinion, at least. Um, twenty one twenty one pilots. I was about to say twenty one Zeppelin. That's not right. Twenty one pilots vessel. This is a very good album as well. Um, highly recommend that one. Now, this one, I don't know really why I got this, plus all of the controversy surrounding this guy, Harry's House by Harry Styles. Uh, I don't, again, I don't really know why I got that one. The the the, the album's just okay, but... Um, yeah, I have my own thoughts about Harry Styles. I think he's a good... Um, singer, he's a good composer, but he's not, um, a great, a great person, I don't think, but, you know, whatever. Probably my favorite of the, actually, no, probably not my favorite, but one of my favorite things that I got in this music stack was Jar of Flies by, uh, Alice in Chains. This is a great band and a very good short, uh, album. So it's, it's only got seven songs on there, um, they're each around, like, the three to f seven minute mark, I think, yeah, one of them's seven minutes, and then the rest, like, range between, like, three and four minutes, so, good one, though, this is a long one, um, Stranger Things 4 soundtrack, um, I didn't pre-order this one, but I did get it for my birthday, and this just has a ton of songs on there. There's two versions of Separate Ways, which are remixed. And then Master of Puppets is on here as well. So that's that's probably, like, the main selling point. And then Detroit Rock City was also on there, so I needed to get that. Um, Top Gun Maverick soundtrack. I was so excited to get this one because I absolutely love the soundtrack and the movie. So... And the soundtrack was one of the best parts of the movie. Um, Billy Joel's Greatest Hits, Volume 1 and 2. This one has like a bunch of his, his classic songs on here, so I don't know if you guys can read them or not, but there they are. And then, last CD we have is actually a six-pack of CDs. It's Eagles, um, the studio albums from 1972 to 1979, so it has six albums. Uh, and then those are... There on the back. It's flipped for me. I don't know if it is for you guys. But yeah, this one is this one's a, a neat one. So those are the CDs. And then the one vinyl I got, Aerosmith's Greatest Hits. You can kind of tell that I like to get the like the greatest hits CDs for older bands. It's just a normal black disc, but still neat. I haven't listened to this one yet, actually. Um, but I am looking forward to because I do like Aerosmith quite a bit. So that's the music. Let's get into the stuff that I got prior to my 
birthday. So we have some Dollar Tree pickups here. This is like the first six, I believe. So right here. We have 21 and over. Uh, this one I haven't seen yet, but it's from the Writers of the Hangover. And it has Miles Teller in it. So he's right there. I do like Miles Teller quite a bit. Uh, I know he's kind of controversial, but he's he's a good actor in my opinion. Uh, the World Series champions that I think was this the Astros? Yeah, 2019. This is a dollar twenty-five, and I do enjoy these these uh, what like ninety-minute little documentary things. Um, I have one for the Cubs from 2016. That's a that's a good one. Trumbo. I have heard good things about it, and it's got Walter White in it. So. <laughs> So I gotta I gotta watch that one soon. Um, Batman: The Killing Joke. I have seen that one. I remember it being okay, but I was kind of surprised that I saw that at the Dollar Tree. So I wanted to pick that one up. This one's a six pack. And it's got the Night of the Living Dead in it. Um, now the Night Night of the Living Dead is kind of like featured in a bunch of these six movie packs and whatever. But this one has a like a couple movies on here that I did want to check out. So for a dollar twenty five, get. Night, Night of the Living Dead, which I already do own, and then two other movies that I wanted, plus three others that kind of piqued my interest. So it's got Night of the Living Dead, obviously, and then it's got House on Haunted Hill with Vincent Price, um, The Devil Bat with Bella Lugosi, who was the original Dracula, I believe, and then White Zombie, also with Bella Lugosi. And then the bat with Vincent Price and the last man on earth with Vincent Price. So you kind of you can kind of see like the running theme with that either Vincent Price or Villa Lugosi in it. And then this one kind of surprised me because it's a it's an old uh, snapper case of Matchstick Men. Now this one I, I want to check out quite a bit. It's directed by uh, Ridley Scott and it has uh, Nick Cage in it. So sounds interesting enough to me. Now, these next four I got at a garage sale, and then the rest of these in this pile are Goodwill. So, are from Goodwill. So, the other guys, um, I remember this one being a pretty funny comedy, but I don't think I've actually watched this one all the way through, so I wanted to get this one. Children of Men, I've only heard amazing things about this one, but I haven't seen it. History of Violence, I've heard great things about it, and it's a David Cronenberg movie, so... Yeah, and a lot of these had, like, these weird stickers on the back. I'm not not really sure what they are, but, I mean, maybe they were, like, rental copies or something. I don't I don't know, but, yeah, I think this one doesn't. Okay. And then Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This is one that I did watch. Um, pretty forgettable comedy, honestly. It's not, it's not great, but... It was fine. And then we have the Goodwill pickups. So we have Invincible with Marky Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Um, I haven't seen that one, but I've heard it's good. And then another Marky Mark movie. We have Pain and Gain. Uh, this one, kind of like a, a recurring theme here. I have a couple of Michael Bay movies in here. And I was actually going to get Ambulance from Walmart the same day that I got these. Uh, I didn't end up getting it, though, because I, I, I don't know. I'm not a big Michael Bay fan. I like Transformers 1 and 3, and that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, I haven't seen a ton of his filmography, though, so, you know, uh, that might be my bad, but I don't know. I haven't seen his, like, great movies, apparently. So, Pain and Gain, I've heard, is good, but very strange. So, I'll check that one out at some point. The Ref, um... Someone on the platform, Cody Leach, you probably know him. Uh, he says this is one of his go-to <clears throat> uh, comedies. It's a Christmas movie, apparently, so I'll probably check it around around. Uh, check it out around Christmas. Um, Dennis Leary and uh, a guy that we don't talk about anymore these days because he's uh, apparently a very bad dude. Inside Man with Denzel. Um, I've heard this is a great movie, and it's a Spike Lee movie. So, yeah, I'll check that out. Um, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. I've heard this is a great comedy, so I'll check this one out for sure. American Reunion. I finally have the all four of the original four 
well, the the main quadrilogy of American Pie movies, and I haven't checked this one out yet, so I will check this one out probably after uh, Halloween because I'm in the midst of watching a ton of horror movies. Miracle, um, this one has Kurt Russell, and I believe this, yeah, Gavin O'Connor, the guy who made Warrior, so I'll have to check this one out. The Jackal, this one is a Bruce Willis movie, and I've heard it is decent, but not great, so I'll, I'll have to check it out, though, at some point, because I, I own it, so. J. Edgar, Clint Eastwood movie, I've heard it's pretty decent. Evolution, I've heard this is a fun comedy, so I'll I'll try to check that one out at some point. Armageddon, one that I needed in my collection. Uh, another Michael Bay movie, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Michael Bay. Um, I've heard it is insane, but I want to watch it pretty badly. Gone in 60 Seconds, I started watching this one in a hotel, like, very late at night. Um, didn't finish it, obviously, but... Like I said, starting watching it, and it was late at night, so. And then Manhunter, the Michael Mann movie, and it's also a, um, a, what's his name? A Hannibal Lecter movie. So yeah, I'll, I'll check that one out this, this October. Alright, then we have a couple of Walmart pickups, and then stuff that I got for my birthday. So, we have... Mimic, which is a Guillermo del Toro movie. I'm, from what I've heard, it's kind of just Guillermo del Toro's very cheesy version of Alien. So I'll check it out at some point soon, probably this this month. Um, the Black Phone, awesome horror movie. Scraforum, the the last Scream movie that I needed for my collection, and it was five bucks. So. Also, five, five bucks and it was rounding out a collection. Wonder Woman 1984. Not a good movie, but, you know. So what I was talking about, um, getting Ambulance, I instead got The Northman. I haven't checked it out yet, but I've heard it is... From a lot of people, it's a strange movie, and then from a lot of other people say that it's a masterpiece. So I don't know who, what side I'm going to land on with that, but I will check it out at some point. And now, we have the stuff that I got for my birthday. So, we got some stuff from Walmart. We have the Bob's Burgers movie. I am actually not the biggest fan of the show. I don't watch it regularly, but I have started watching it. And it is a good show, I have to say that. Because I like the movie quite a bit. So, I wanted to get it for the collection. And another movie that I wanted to get for the collection, but I haven't seen... Um, from this year, it's the bad guys, um, I've heard it's a great movie, so, yeah, I'll check that one out, and another movie that I've heard is great, and wanted for my collection, Vengeance, this was $15, and it came out within the week that I, like, picked up this stuff, so, yeah, and then some non-new release stuff, but one that was, like, a special edition at Walmart, um, sorry, I kind of stuttered there, Saying edition. Halloween. Uh, they put that one out because obviously it's Halloween coming up. So, yeah, I wanted to get that one because I, I actually don't own that besides a VHS tape, which I actually showed off, I think, last physical media update. I could be way wrong with that, but yeah. And then Halloween 2018. So now I have the four Halloween movies that I love. So Halloween, Halloween, Halloween 2, and Halloween Kills. And I'm still mildly excited for Halloween Ends. So, yeah. There's those. And then we have um, a couple of movies from Best Buy. We have Avatar. This is a, a very nice box set. I have to say, this was $16. And... Gorgeous box set. It's a it's a hard card set as well, so that's nice. If okay, so I was already trying to record this a little while ago, and I was struggling getting this out of the the box. So, like I said, hard card. It's a little flimsy, but it is a lot nicer than 
other cardboard sets that I have, specifically like my Hellboy box set that I have. Um, it's a it's a DVD director's cut set or something. So, yeah. So this um, I I think it's just um, yeah, it's just an advertisement for a book. And then this I I don't know why like. I just randomly found, like, a bunch of movies that have this inside of them. I don't really know what they're for, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> and then this little pamphlet, it says Journey Deeper into Avatar. It's got... That's, uh... Jake, right? I don't, I don't know. And then... Uh, it's got, like, the, the, the special... The features on there, so... Disc 1 has the different cuts of the movie. Um... And... There's there, there's a an audio track in it that says um optional family audio track and it says all object uh, all objectionable language is removed. <laughs> that that makes me laugh because like families really want to watch Avatar, but yeah, so this has three cuts on it. So it has the theatrical cut, it has the special edition re-release which with an additional 8 minutes and then the what the the collector's extended cut with 16 additional minutes. So I watched that one and uh, it was awesome. Let me just tell you that. I actually was not a huge fan of this movie before I watched that cut. And I don't know if it was because of the cut or I just didn't appreciate it for some reason when I first watched it. But it is a great movie. Um, so here's like the first page. It's kind of a booklet. Um, it doesn't have, like, a lot of special features and stuff. It says, I'm trying to understand the deep connection the people have to the forest. She talks about a network of energy that flows through all living things. I believe this is, like, each page has, like, some quotes on it. So, um, why can't I remember the, the, her name? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember her name for some reason. Um, here's page two. And then, um, also, each each of these, like, black slides have a disc in them, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, and I'll have to, I'll have to look at these special features, because this movie is great, and I don't know a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff besides, like, James Cameron directed it, and it looks like a, it is a beautiful movie. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I'll have to watch the special features before, uh, Avatar 2 comes out. And then, page 3... And there is the back. So yeah, this is a very nice set. And like I said, $16. I'm not complaining because I didn't own this movie prior to it. And I love this this uh, this little collection here. So yeah. Um, and now I'm struggling to get it back in the box. Okay, now we go. There we go. Um, then we have The Gentleman, um, the Guy Ritchie movie, and Pan's Labyrinth. So, I haven't seen either of these movies, but Pan's Labyrinth, this is in 4K, and I'm gonna watch it this month, because I've heard it's kinda, kinda spooky. So, yeah, I'll watch it. Um, so, then, let me just run through the stuff that I got from Amazon, because, um, I already showed you guys in the unboxing video, so... Escape from New York, 4K from Scream Factory. Trick or Treat, good movie. I actually just rewatched that last night. Frailty, great horror movie. Please watch it if you haven't. The Exorcist, awesome. Also, I did watch um, Escape from New York. That's a great movie as well. Requiem for a Dream, haven't seen it yet. Hardcore Henry, haven't seen it yet. Hereditary, have watched it just recently. This is a hard to watch movie. Black Dynamite, awesome. Mystery Men, haven't seen. Evil Dead, great movie. Eternal Sunshine, still haven't seen. Okay. Then I got two movies um, that were gifted to me for birthday, obviously. Citizen Kane and Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, haven't seen either of these. And then two from Barnes & Noble that I still haven't seen either. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and uh, Malcolm X. So, yeah, I, I actually got two Spike Lee movies, apparently, this month, and I didn't even realize it. So, yeah, there you guys go. That is 
the the physical media update for what is it October 3rd I think so yeah um thank you guys for watching if you did um and please hit the subscribe button it would mean a lot we just hit 70 subscribers then that's awesome so yeah thank you guys and uh stick around for more videos and let me know down in the comments what you guys picked up recently um so yeah see you guys